A look at a slice of New Jersey's industrial heartland as Mile takes us to our block, 21st Avenue in Patterson. Patterson, New Jersey. It's a gritty little city, nestled in a valley of smokestacks 12 miles out of Manhattan on Route 80. The Passaic County seat, a city of 150,000 people. Not many rich folks here, most of them just getting by. 8.3 square miles of New Jersey's industrial heartland. A city of hard-working people and their factories. Alexander Hamilton started all of this in 1791, declaring that this city would be built as the first consciously planned industrial center in the America of that time. And that heritage remains up to this moment. The evidence of industry is everywhere. The factories are still humming on Patterson's 21st Avenue, our block. The Crow Textile Mill, the largest employer on our block. 250 people work here, alongside Francisco Pancho Mendez, factory maintenance superintendent with 10 years on the job. Vámonos a... Let's go to work and let's put this in a center later. This is what we have to do right now, okay? You have to be ambitious, you have to, you know, the opportunities here. If you want to be something, you can be something here. Um, I, proud to be a Costa Rican, but I'm more proud to be in this country because mm -hmm. whatever that happens from here. In a city where the average family income is only $14,000 a year, Pancho, earning close to 10 bucks an hour, lives on the high end of our block's wage scale, enough to support a mortgage on his home and care for his wife and six children. George. Okay. Jorge. Jorge. Francisco Jr. Okay. Anna. Uh-huh. Hazel. Uh-huh. Ronald. Uh-huh. And Alex. Uh -huh. And that's it. That's it. Oh, that's good. <laughs> All right. A Costa Rican, Pancho reflects our block's growing Latino population. Part of Patterson's new immigrant makeup. A lot of Pancho's value is understanding the needs of all our block's newcomers. I have it. Italian, Spanish, uh, American, Ukrainian, Ukrainian, Gringo, Costa Rica, you have that. <laughs> <laughs> The core of our block echoes Patterson's longtime, high-spirited Italian heritage. So how's life these days? Beautiful. Beautiful? Yes. Yeah. What do you mean beautiful? Oh, it's beautiful. We're living. We got a job. We are healthy. Uh -huh. What else do you want? Have you always had a job? All my life. Always work? Always work. I started when I was 19 years old. Oh, yeah? And I'm only 39. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Opera buff Galinda Menegas of Northern Italy, here at the Crow Looms, picking up any machine-made mistakes in her craft as a mender for the last 27 years. Linda and Pancho, secure and happy in their blue-collar jobs. They don't tell the whole story on our block. Just a few doors away, other jobs, other workers, much harder times. What I make here, it's not even enough for the rent. 32% of Patterson lives below the poverty level. Unemployment here at 14%. Some jobs on our block are barely marginal. 
Look, if I bring only about three bills, man, I'll be good to go. Three bills with who? I swear, I ain't gonna tell no lies. Got any kids? I have three. How you making it? Day by day, just surviving. That's it. That's what everybody around here does. Just survive. That's what you have to do. How are you doing? Well, it can't be better. It can't be better, but we have a half a hog and no, no hog at all. But i like to see it get better. Definitely. How are you, how you getting by on half a hog? Well, we just make little ends meet. That's all. That's you got kids? Do. Yeah, I have five kids. You believe me, it is rough. 12 noon. Lunch hour is just 30 minutes on this end of our block. Here's Joe and Lisa Vito's luncheonette is supported by 21st Avenue's working pool. I know they skimp on food. They eat a lot of eggs. They seem to like eggs. Thank you. And rice and beans. Like I said, that's no joke. That's what these people, a lot of them eat. Lisa Vito, after three years in business here on our block, isn't put off by the sooty emblems of hard times. They look like you should be scared to death of them. They're not. They're just out there, they're making a living. They're... The people that come in here are decent. You know, they're good people. They may look kind of seedy, but they're not. It's a very different way in which we live and the way the people in this area live. I can't, it's like, when I go home at night, I'm glad to get out. Pancho lives in the other world of our block. Where a little spare cash in the pocket allows a beer after work. Then it's home to food and family and the images of prosperity. So you see what I have to mm -hmm. after 10 years? Mm -hmm. I think it's proud about this. Very proud. Mm -hmm. This is American dream when I come through to a Costa Rican guy. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be a good week here on our block, 21st Avenue in Patterson. A lot of people left to meet. A lot of them speak Italian, eat Italian, live Italian, and play Italian. That'll be tomorrow here on our block. Vic Miles, Channel 2 News reporting.